codes and rental code units. I'm going to come back to that conversation later. Um, good morning, sir. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Good to be with you this morning. Mar Marshalltown, one of my favorite places. I used to work in Marshalltown. As it was. Uh, I worked there as a consultant to Fisher Controls. Uh, it was one of my first assignments as a young consultant, and I made the, the trek, uh, gosh, over a long period of time, back and forth, Des Moines to, to Marshalltown. And I worked in Marshalltown and worked for a guy named Larry Solly, who was okay. head of that division. And, and wow. uh, he told me that, uh, that I was going to come to love the people of Iowa, and he was right. You have a photographic memory. Not really, uh, but there are a few things you can remember, such as uh, how good the steak was at, uh, <laughs> at, the at, at Rubes. At Rubes, there's a place called Rubes in, yes, in, in yes, Montour, and yes. I used to I used to go there with uh, did, uh, with. Uh, did with, you cook your own? I did cook. My are you own. any good? Um, no, now and then, you know, I have to keep taking my. <laughs> I, I get these real thick uh, uh, filet mignons because yes. that's, that's what I wanted, and I. You know, you cook it and cook it. It looked looked like charcoal on the outside, but then I get it back to my table. It was too raw. I had to go back. But this was this was one. You loose. made your own steak. Go back. Uh, I, of course. <laughs> <laughs> this, 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 but this you, was, you probably didn't even tip yourself. Then. <laughs> <laughs> this is when Rubes had about ten tables. It's now a much bigger enterprise. But this was back. Uh, oh gosh. I want to be probably the late seventies. Okay. Well, they have wonderful soccer fields up there too. They, that Fisher built for the community. So oh yeah. They're they're a progressive community on one layer, uh, but they're they've uh, anyway. That's a different subject because you've talked about immigration before, and immigration has had a huge effect on uh, Marshalltown, a lot of rural Iowa communities as well. Uh, well, welcome aboard, sir, and thank, thank you. you for coming. So uh, you have been on an Ask Me Anything tour. Yeah. Does that apply to me? Uh, you can ask whatever you'd like, but I'll, but I'll dodge <laughs> some of your questions. <laughs> well, because our time is extraordinarily limited, can I just uh, dispense with all the the rest of the niceties? Absolutely. And just go right to the really tough questions. Yeah. Um, at the uh, it, Because you're right now, uh, according to recent public opinion surveys, the run a number one on the Republican side here, uh, you're the candidate to beat here in Iowa at the moment, as I recall. You know, I hope I'm doing well here. I've, I've, uh, I think we counted. I've done over 200 events at yeah. Iowa, and uh, so you know, I've met a lot of people. Yeah. We've got a great team here. We're doing right. our best, and and hopefully making progress. You and I share uh, a common affection for the late Cleon Skousen. Mm, I yeah. can. Uh, he, he, he apparently last time I talked to you, you said he was one of your instructors at school. Exactly. Uh, he is also uh, was uh, one of my instructors uh, via a book he wrote on the making of America, hmm. which is a wonderful commentary on the U.S. Constitution, how it was made. He combines the notes, uh, Madison's notes, uh, with the every every codicil in the uh, the Constitution and tells you exactly what original intent is. Isn't that something? I, no, that, that I have not read, and that's worth reading. It certainly is. I, I recommend it highly. You can never be hustled again by a politician uh, of any stripe if you've actually read the original intent of, of, of uh, the, the framers. And wouldn't it be nice if our court, uh, if the Supreme Court, uh, followed the intent of the Constitution and the framers rather than using the yeah. Constitution as a right. springboard as right. some uh, attempt to do. Uh, is Roe versus Wade the law of the land? Uh, it is now. Uh, it is. Uh, you just flunked the Klan Scouts. It, it, it is. It is improper. It is improperly. Uh, it was uh, improperly decided. I, I'm sorry. I'm he's so, I'm spinning sorry. in his yeah, grave. I, I'm, so, sir. I'm sorry to violate the uh, the Klan Scouts test. I'm not familiar with it. But well, I, no. I, the, the point is, the the uh, he would say that the Supreme Court doesn't make law. They can't make law. There's only three sources of law, and the court's not one of them. Uh, well, we we obviously apply what the Supreme Court tells us we must do, and uh, in my opinion, even that if court, it's unconstitutional, it, it, well, even if they just make it up, that's a decision. Unfortunately, that's a decision which the which the court has the first choice of making, oh, and then you and then, second claim no, no, I, I said I say has the first choice of making, and then we have we have redress. This is what happened in my state. Yes. the court said that people of the same gender are entitled under our constitution to marry. Now, they my, were they our, were wrong. My constitution was was written by John Adams and Madison. Yes. Massachusetts, and which, and, ex and which carefully excluded the courts from legislating from the bench. Exactly. And, and your duty and obligation at that point was to say, thank you for sharing, it's not law. And uh, it, the that's my, redress, that's, that's the Cleon Scouse that's opinion. That's Cleon opinion. Great. My, our redress at that stage yes. uh, is open to us because the Constitution does lay out how we can overturn a court decision. And in our case, it's through ballot initiative. 
and a amendment to our state constitution, which is a process we began and we're still fighting for in my state. So th there, there are ways of having the people step above the, the, the court. What was interesting, in my, which I but if I the court is law, But if the court is lawless, if it's inventing legislative, uh, if, it's, if it's assuming legislative authority, uh, you don't even have to invoke the uh, the redress that you mentioned you can just say that that's that's null and void on the face because they're out of their legal jurisdiction and you don't have to sign anything uh, th th over which they don't have legal jurisdiction it, it, it's it's not a circumstance I would look forward to, uh, to oh, having, I, having to confront. I, I would I must, love I, to. I, I was I must, hoping I, 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 I want. Uh, I'm only speaking for myself here, Governor Romney. I want a president who will tell the Supreme Court when it leaves its constitutional boundaries to go take a flying leap and meet me in the back and we'll settle this like men. Uh, <laughs> be, because that's what this country's crying for. We don't have to amend the Constitution to change aberrant Supreme Court rulings if the guy at top and the, the political class will assume their constitutional authority, according to Cleon Scouse. I hear what Cleon is saying. I, I, I would worry about a circumstance where a president would decide which court decisions. You mean like are, Adams and uh, Madison no, and Washington no, no, and Jefferson? No, uh, Clinton. Uh, all right. I'd yes. worry about a Hillary Clinton saying, I don't like that court decision and I disagree with it and they've gone on the wrong side and I'm going to take it. Well, there's another branch of government, so, too. Yeah, I understand. I, I, I'm not terribly enthused about Harry Reid either. <laughs> so so I, what I tell you is, in my view, the right course yes. for Roe v. Wade is to have it overturned and to have it overturned by a court which includes additional justices like Roberts right. and Alito. Right. And that, in my view, is the way for us to finally allow the states to have the authority that states were intended to have, which is that this should be a matter of state decision, not a matter well, of what, federal decision. What will you do then, uh, on a personal basis, you have made a transition. I'm not going to play the sound bites, but you've, you've been on the record a couple of times in favor of uh, abortion, and your most recent uh, endeavor, I, I would say, on the... Uh, I'll, I'll play one when you uh, say you're now pro when you said you were now pro-life and you were on with uh, Stephanopoulos. What's your position on abortion? I'm pro-life. What does that mean? Well, my view is that uh, I, I would like to see uh, Roe v. Wade over time uh, and as soon as possible uh, allow the states to make their own decisions with regards to abortion. That's what you just said just a few moments ago. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and I and I was effectively pro-choice uh, some years ago when I ran yes. for office against uh, Ted Kennedy and and uh, and yet when I became v governor, virtually pro-choice. Pro I mean, no, you were... no, I didn't ever call myself pro-choice. I, I voted the term. I said I don't call myself pro-choice. But I said I would preserve and protect a woman's right to choose under the laws as it existed. And so I was effectively pro-choice, as I said. And then then when the rhetoric was finally matched with authority, when I yes. became governor, and I actually had a bill that came to my desk, which was a life and death bill. It related to embryo cloning. I said that, frankly, I yeah. think Roe v. Wade had gone too far, right. but I was wrong and that I was pro-life. Why did you I, need that? Uh, you know, it, it was a... Uh, because the reason I'm asking is because uh, your church uh, has its official position for forever on uh, this issue. It's a member of the Church of uh, Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints must not submit to, perform, encourage, pay for, or arrange for an abortion. If you encourage an abortion in any way, you may be subject to church discipline. That's uh, yeah, your church's my, my position. My, you know, the, the, and, great, and the great it, thing. The great thing about this country is that that, uh, that individuals are who, who run for secular office are, are not uh, are not. Uh, implementing the policies of their church they're doing what they think is right for the nation and i came to the position by virtue of my leadership as, of a state that i had been wrong and right. that i and that i needed to be pro-life let me and harass I, you let, some more but, on but, this but, 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 but this is, this is but, exactly what uh, kennedy says about, about his catholicism and they call him a pro, the pro-life community here well, in, you know, I'll take, in I'll Iowa. Take, calls him a gonna, cafeteria I'm, Catholic. But I'm not gonna, I'm not going to have a, a conversation about what my church views are because that's why not because that's not the nature of the office I'm running for, and and there are people there are people in my church who are pro-choice. That is not against my church's view to allow people to have their own position on political issues. That's not what it says. I'm, you can I'm be sorry. subject to the church discipline no, if you, you take you, any position. You, ha you happen to be incorrect on that. Well, I'm, not, I'm just quoting this. You happen to be incorrect. How? your interpretation of it. How? I'm not here to discuss a religion 
or discuss the principles okay, of religion. Okay, here's I'm here the to reason. Talk, I'm I here understand. to discuss. And I don't, I'm not trying yeah, to argue I, I the get, case you know what? I get just as much opportunity to speak as you do. So okay, let me finish right. my sentence, if, right. you, if you will. Okay. And that is, I am pro-life. As governor of Massachusetts, I faced issues that came to my desk that related to life and death, and I came down on the side of life. I wrote an op-ed piece in the Boston Globe as to why I was life. Every decision I took right. as governor was in favor of life. And I was wrong in the past, and you know what? I'm not going to apologize to people for becoming pro-life. I received an award just a couple Nor of months ago you. from the Massachusetts yeah. Citizen for yeah. Life, yeah. 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 awarding yeah. me a, a award for for a public leadership in favor of life. And I'm proud of that record. And as president of the United States, I will be a pro-life president. And you know what? In my opinion, yeah. that's where yeah. the yeah. topic ends. Governor Romney, I need to take a short time out here. We, we only have a, time, a tough time, uh, a short time together. So um, I'll take a quick time out. We'll come right back with more comments and when more issues right here is Michael's the morning for six. I'd love to have an hour, not 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> then we can have nuance. Then we, then we can, and I think you're making, a, this is my only opinion, off the air. I think you make a big mistake when you distance yourself from I'm your not faith. distancing myself from my faith. No, I'm, I'm proud I'm, of my faith, and I accept every, uh, there's nothing I just distance myself from. There are Mormons in the leadership of my yeah. church who are pro-choice and do not violate that. What you, if you're not a lawyer, then, then, then you, I mean, you have to read that a little more carefully, all right? Saying, saying, for instance, my church says that that, uh, uh, that if you have uh, sex outside marriage, that you should be excommunicated. Right. Now, do we make a law that says that? No. But no, 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 no. Wait, you're missing my point. No, you're missing my point, which is which is what a society makes as a law and requires other people to do is not necessarily the same. I'm talking about the political sphere here. Mm -hmm. When you when you when you bifurcate politics from religion. And you have a hermetically sealed. Uh, you make a political category over here and a spiritual one over here. Now, my church says I can't drink alcohol, right? That's what my church says. Mitch, you can't drink alcohol. Okay, should I say that as governor of Massachusetts, we're stopping alcohol sales? If you're not going to separate your religion, you better make everybody not drink alcohol. No, my religion is for me and how I live my life. It, is, it tells me, my church, the leaders of my church, who I know well and who I have been a leader of my church, says, it, it, with the same vehemence that we have our own beliefs, we also vehemently believe other people should be able to make their own choices. They make their own choices no, no. and have free and have free agency. So don't so don't so don't confuse don't confuse what I do as a, as a member of my faith with what I think should be done by government. I'm taking it to the next level. Right, okay. so, and the next level is you are running in this state trying to appeal to the whatever however you term it the religious right. I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to tell people my views. Come back and have about 20 seconds is all. I, but I, I know. But I understand your position yeah, to yeah. whom you're going to try to appeal to. And that includes Catholics and evangelicals. Right. And includes. You're not. I accept as a all my faith. I accept all my faith. But I don't impose all my faith beliefs on you. My view is I should have the right to practice my religion. You should have the right to practice yours. I agree, uh, but that's not what I was getting to. What I was trying to get to was that people uh, of, uh, who will reject your Mormonism on a theological basis right. can uh, would put up with that and might vote for you if they thought you were a consistent, morally consistent Mormon. Well, if I they am. don't think that you're I a morally am. consistent well, woman, they're not likely to to hold their nose and and. I and made it very that. clear. I do not. I do not try and distance myself from my faith in any way, shape, or form. I've been asked time and again, "Will you distance yourself from your church? Will you disavow this practice?" The, the and the answer is, is no. The point, yeah, the point is no. Is, uh, when you try to, to, to hermetically seal them, that makes the. Uh, your potential supporters who agree with your ethics. Nervous. That's all I'm trying to say. And so what, and so what should I do? What, so tell me what I should do. I should not have been pro-choice. And therefore, I'm just finished right there. Well, you're pro-choice, therefore you're, you distance yourself from your no, faith. No, therefore, no, you're finished. No, no, no. no that's what, not what should I say? The, the, the point is, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I made a mistake when I... And every Mormon should be pro-life? Pro if that's what your church says. Well, that's not what my church says. <laughs> that's not what my church says. Um, but that's that's not what my church says. There are leaders in my church that are pro-choice. You're wrong. No. You're, that's your that's, problem. That's a false, that's false logic. No, no, my, the church's official position well, is pro-life. No. Because some of your For leadership it, is out of sync. No, doesn't no, mean no, 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 no. We, we, can, we can continue that conversation. Okay. We only have about 30 seconds remaining oh, here. Okay. 
Unless you want to stay longer. Uh, yeah. I got a ride. We're back. We're out. We're after. We're after. Governor Romney, we just got started. Will you come back and we can have a longer and more detailed conversation? Because uh, there's so many issues. That you you know, as about. you know, I get a chance to come all over the state, and I love getting together with folks across Iowa. Let's so do it's it. It's a lot of fun. Let's do it, sir. Because you went long in that last set. <laughs> Uh, we didn't have enough time. Yeah, here, here, let me let me help you understand, and, it's, and you don't understand my faith like I do. All right, so so give me for a moment the benefit of the doubt that having been a leader in my church, a bishop and a state president, I understand my church better than you do. All right, all right. My church has very strong beliefs that Mormons should not participate in, encourage in any way, support abortion. You could be excommunicated if you do. It says right there. Uh, 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 That's what they say. I didn't say it. <laughs> Are you thinking I'm disagreeing with you? No, I don't know, but it's strong. Are you, are you disagreeing with me? Uh, uh, I, I, let, let me let me once again say yes. I understand my faith better than you do. Right. Well, you don't believe that, do you? I'm not sure. Uh, well, see, I, that, that it's that it's hardly worth having a discussion. Well, no, no, I'm not. Uh, let, listen, let me. Can I can I complete the point? Well, the reason I said that is because you also said in another forum, I think it was on Stephanopoulos, uh -huh. about the second coming of Christ. Right. And you said it's going to happen in Jerusalem. And it is. Your church says it's going to happen in Missouri. No, it doesn't. All right, is that wrong? I, is I, what I, wrong? Is what wrong? Uh, okay. So, see, the you, church says that Christ appears in on the Mount of Olives and splits the Mount of Olives and appears in Jerusalem. That's what the church says. And then over a thousand years of the millennium, that the world is reigned in two places, Jerusalem and Missouri. That's what the church says. The second coming, the arrival of Jesus Christ, our church says is in Jerusalem. That's the church doctrine. Then Stephanopoulos uh, misquoted your church, which is not that's, surprising. That's, that's um, fine. That's but fine. I was basing, that, I was basing my, my yeah, just, question on you that can, premise. You can, you can, uh, Cleon Skousen has a book called A Thousand Years. So you can talk about Christ appears. It's throughout the Bible. Christ appears in Jerusalem, splits the Mount of Olives to stop the war that's coming in to kill all the Jews. It's, it's, our church believes that. That's where the coming in glory of Christ occurs. We also believe that over the thousand years that follows in the millennium, he will reign from two places, right. that the law will come forward from uh, from one place and, and uh, uh, from Missouri and the other will be in Jerusalem. All right, that's, uh, but, but, now, but now back, back to abortion. Well, before we, I have to get back on the yeah, you gotta but, get but here. before we do anything else, I yeah. want you to understand one thing. I yeah. take this stuff real seriously. Oh, I don't I, though. For I, me, it's, this is all frivolous. No, I take you, no, I'm <laughs> no, I'm running for president. No, wait a second. I take, what are you, are you going to just for yeah, yeah. I take you no, seriously. No, but I, you're, and I take, and I take you're, what you're saying seriously. But you're, you're not giving me the opportunity to explain to you that my that my that my my faith has very strong beliefs that if I commit abortion, encourage an abortion. I, I was beaten up in Boston because I pointed out time and again that I encourage girls not to get abortions, that I told them to have adoptions. I have never done anything that in any way violates the principles of my church in that regard. I've made other mistakes, but in that regard. But the church does not say that a member of our church has to uh, be opposed to allowing choice in, in society. It does not say that. And therefore, there are there are Mormon Democrats. There's a Democratic Party in mass in, in Utah filled with Mormons. And the church doesn't say they're wrong, they're being excommunicated. No, it says, look, we are vehemently opposed to abortion ourselves and for ourselves, but we allow other people to make their own choice. I disagree with that view. Politically, I looked at it, I said, you know what, that's wrong. And it's not a Mormon thing, it's a it's a, a secular position to say, you know what, I was wrong. We should have as a society a prohibition on, on, uh, on uh, abortion in the following circumstances. When, uh, but it's not it's not violating my faith, let me assure you. When I hope we can do this so we can spend some, okay. some quality time on the air rather than the, the, the sound. No, I, I mean, I don't like coming on the air and having you go after my church and me and my... I'm not my going after you, I agree no, with your church. church. I know, you're, that's right. But I'm I'm not running as a Mormon, and I don't, and 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 I get a little tired of coming on a show like yours and having it all about Mormon. Uh, see, I don't mind it being about that. Yeah, I do. I, 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 agree, I do. I agree with the ethics of your church, for Pete's sake. So do I. Yeah. So do I. Well, <laughs> so I. I was trying to. No, you're trying to tell me that I'm not that I'm not a faithful Mormon, or no, that I'm that I'm not. I'm trying to get. Church. No, I'm trying to get you to reconcile what I think is a disparity and, 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 and have a great discussion about Mormonism and the Mormon Church and read the doctrines of the Church and where my view is. And you know what? 
I, I, I'm, not, I'm not running. I'm not running to talk about more of this. No, but the point is, I, you know, the people who are likely to vote don't want to elect a Ted Kennedy, uh, who runs, comes back here, or a Senator Harkin, who comes here to Dowling and comes here to Iowa and says, "I'm pro-life." And then when he gets to Washington, stands up and becomes pro choice. Here's, here's your opportunity to you have that settle in your mind. I was governor four years. So that is what I'm talking about. I was governor four years. I had a number of pieces of legislation that came to my desk that dealt with abortion, absence education, RU486, and so forth. I vetoed any bill that was in favor of choice. I was entirely consistent in favor of life. So it's not just my word you have to take, but for my record. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Lana. Hey, how you doing? Good, great. Sorry, it was so short. That's all right. That's okay. I appreciate it.